So I'm cutting this uh, piece of wood here. It's going to be tough to show you the full piece of wood because I'm in macro, but there's just a little log. And I'm cutting these pieces because it's got some nice spalting going on in there. Uh, to give you perspective, they're little, pretty small. Um, and I cut this open. And I don't know if you can see him in there, but there's a little guy in there. Um, some kind of wood boring ant or beetle. I don't I don't think it's a beetle. He looks like an ant. But I'm not really sure what kind of insect it is. Well, he's got a little little hole in there. And uh I've been getting flack recently for my videos being shaky and I know I'm using a macro lens here so it's going to be a little shaky but I'm doing my best but I want him to come out, I want him to come out so we can see him I'm not really sure what it is but he uh, that's his abdomen there and he seems to be Similarly shaped to an ant, but it doesn't have the colors of an ant. And he's lucky I didn't chop him in half. This uh, little log here has been sitting out for ages. I don't know how long it's been sitting out there, but uh, I think it was part of a wooden sword I made when I was a kid. So there's some of the cross sections I've cut. Now, I'm not an expert on wood, but I know that spalting is a process when the wood uh, rots a little bit and certain fungus and bacteria create the different colors, the dark lines through it. Um, I guess in this case, little bugs. I wish he'd come out a little more. I want to see him. Alright, bear with me. I'm going to try and poke in there. Hmm. Well, I hate to destroy your home, little guy, but I gotta use this piece of wood. I guess this was the other side of it here. That was part of his burrow. When it goes right through that piece of wood, now it looked like it went into here, but it stopped up. He's got a blockade in there. Looks like it went through this one too. And that one. And that one. But this is all blocked off. I wonder why. So it's blocked off this way too in the rest of the log. Maybe he was save, or, uh, hibernating in there and that was his little hibernation chamber. Well, I feel bad that I ruined it. I think I'll put him in the monitor cage, maybe he'll find a new home in there. I'm going to put whole loads of wood and logs and stuff in there. Alright. Alright, he came out, so... Where is he? Oh, there. He's in there. There he is. Come on, focus. Oh, he's moving too fast for me to focus. There he is. Right there. So it looks like it's a little ant. Some kind of... Maybe a queen? I don't know. I'm not really sure what kind of ant this is. If anyone knows, feel free to tell me. I know we got lots of ant experts out there. Last time I said I had the video of the king and queen, 
queen mating with king ant. Everyone corrected me saying it's not a king ant. So, sorry that I call it a king ant. I just assumed that the mother is the queen and the father is the king. This guy's cool. Solitary, though, that's interesting. Boy, I love this macro lens. Need a little more light. It is in the evening, and this garage is poorly lit. And he likes the dark, apparently. Alright, I'm gonna leave it at that.